Uh, Prince Harry has listed uh, for the first time his primary residence as America. This is while he still can, uh, because uh, there's this big process going on by which he might be thrown out of America uh, because of his visa problems. But uh, he's turned his back on Britain officially. He now says basically he's an American. Well, they're welcome to him, aren't they? Really? I, think, I think that's what it comes down to. I mean, we're obviously all watching with bated breath to hear what happens with his, you know, what he put on his visa application. I mean, it just beggars belief that somebody could be that stupid really i mean to 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 put something on a visa application he must have put something that meant he could get the visa and then boast yeah. about all his drug taking you mm. just think how simple is this guy mm. well very, <laughs> very. As, I, as, I was, as i would say he's damned if he does and he's damned yeah. if he doesn't because either uh he didn't admit to taking drugs on yeah. his form uh which is mm. a very serious offense and that would Mm. Probably getting, possibly getting kicked out, uh, or uh, he put it on the form. I do take drugs. I'm very keen on mm. cannabis, uh, magic mushrooms, and cocaine, which are his drugs of choice. Although he didn't like cocaine very much, uh, <laughs> but that's by the by. Uh, um, uh, if, if, like if that sort of psychedelic wittity club that the people in the rainforest. If, if he put it on, if he did put it on his visa form, th then why is he allowed to live there? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it just makes you wonder, doesn't it? But uh, you know, meanwhile they're making uh, jar uh, jars of jam in their kitchen, so it's all well, good. Well, not just that. Of course, Harry's at greatest. <laughs> Life she achievement. made that jam herself. I'm a Chinaman. <laughs> I really am. Of course, am. Uh, Harry's greatest life achievement was going on Gap Yar. <laughs> and so he's basically set up a company for adult Gap Yar called Travelist. Gap Yar. Uh, Gap Yar. <laughs> uh, and this company, Travelist, which is the, it's actually the company's house filing of uh, Travelist, which now shows that he is officially an American resident, um, uh, it apparently encourages people to enjoy sustainable tourism. Yeah. Uh, just like he does, flying around the world in private jets, left, right, and centre all over the place. You have a listen to Rebecca, Harry. Are you a fan of elitist claptrap because here's some take it away <laughs> elitist claptrap harry without the stories the connection and the safeguarding that you provide the world has no destinations to visit and without the destinations mm -hmm. there is no business so we understand that it is crucial that we strive to do better by the people and places that we collectively depend on what, what does what? that mean? <laughs> what are you talking today? about? Why is he also sitting in a wardrobe? Yeah. Is he not allowed to sit in the H&M <laughs> throne room anymore yeah. that Megan does her Zoom calls yeah, so, Hey, Harry, just cos uh, Megan told you some Californian buzzwords, uh, it doesn't make you once. sound intelligent. It makes you sound really, really <laughs> stupid. That is elitist drivel. That's elitist dribble. dribble. We're going to go on holiday where we fancy it, Harry, and uh, <laughs> destinations won't disappear because travel companies don't look after communities. Yeah, what right. a lot when of you go nonsense. on holiday, I'm not like I really want to go to visit yeah. the communities. Yeah. You go to sit on a beach and drink pina colada. Uh, meanwhile, uh, well, the jam, I think we covered the jam, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, let's not we talk about the jam, jam anymore. Uh, but uh, let's talk about William. Uh, he's returned for his... For, for the latest of his many first royal engagements <laughs> since Kate's cancer diagnosis. He seems to be always out, and every time I see it, it's his first royal engagement since... Is it? The, is the it? first today. Is it? <laughs> is it? I don't think it is. But anyway, it's good to see him out and about. Uh, where was he? He was uh, uh, in some real on Thames, where you'd be very interested to know I went to school. Oh, did you? Yeah, Sunbury oh. Grammar School. Apparently, it's a food <laughs> redistribution charity called Surplus to Supper, uh, and he's going to help volunteers sort and redistribute food at the charity's hub at Sunbury Cricket Club and helps help them to load deliverers into their vans. Now, that's what you call doing proper royal duties, not sitting in the pantry talking about gap yar. <laughs> gap yar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but to, uh, well, let's go back to the jam then. Uh, <laughs> really? It, Mark, Mark Borkowski, my friend, uh, the uh, PR guru, mm. uh, he says of this jam thing, it's a clear karaoke, what the hell does that mean, of what her father-in-law has yeah. been doing for a couple of decades with great success, mm. but with far less authenticity. Well, amazing. it sort of is. It sort of is. Look, yeah. What's amazing, since announcing the launch of Yankee Candle, hokery pokery <laughs> jam coming straight nice to you if you're words. an influencer, um, <laughs> actually... <laughs> the Dutchy organic strawberry jams have been selling out. So I'm like, oh, Megan's making jam. Let's go buy the kings <laughs> instead. <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah, but it, it retails for £2.80 a jar, the Dutchie yeah. Originals, which is now, I believe, run by William. And these uh, jam uh, jars, when they are released to, to the public, because she hasn't actually sold anything at yeah. all on American River, uh, they, they will retail for $145. <laughs>
I just made that up, but <laughs> they won't be cheap. They won't be cheap. That's yeah, I'm going to get sure. into them anytime Thanks soon. Thanks very much, Rebecca Thanks, Ryan. Rebecca. That was a fantastic hour.